Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we will do the part 6. So we will see question number 4 in it. Construct a rectangle whose sides are 6 cm and 4 cm. So first thing means this is a rectangle 6 cm and 4 cm means this longer side that is the length that will be 6 cm and this is going to be 4 cm. This is a rough sketch of it. So for the steps of construction, here we are taken here, AB is 6 cm. So this is the rough, I have done it roughly not by taking the exact measurement. So you can do by taking the exact measurement, take 6 cm on the scale, draw a line. So that will be AB and right here 6 cm. From this point, from A, you, because now see here, we want this as 4 cm. So you are not going to draw a direct line. So we are going to draw a perpendicular. So we get the exact line. So what we are going to do from this point, we will draw, we will take a suitable radius and we will draw an arc. The same thing, whatever the distance is for this one, you will take from here to here and draw this arc. Again, the same distance from here to here, you will take the same one and draw another arc. Then taking this ES center, you are going to draw an arc over here. FS center, you are going to draw an arc over here. So this is the point of intersection. So you will now draw a line. So later on, what are you going to do? So we want this, after drawing a line, we want this as this exactly should be 4 cm. So again, you will take on the compass, you will take 4 cm. And from here, you are going to cut this line. So here I will show you. You are going to cut this line. Means this is going to be exactly 4 cm. Same thing you are going to follow here. You will take, you will draw an arc. The same distance you will draw this two arc. From here to here, you will draw one arc. From this edge to here, you will draw another arc. And you are going to draw a line. And then later on, you are going to, from here to here, this will be 4 cm. You will cut it. What you, the same thing, follow so now you can see this is the point of intersection. So later on we are going to join these two points. So that will be, this will be CD. So this is the construction for the rectangle. The same things you will see here. So this is given AB is 6 cm. Take AS center and draw an arc. Cut this arc into two. Mark as ENF. You can put anything. I just put ENF. You can also put any other alphabet, whatever you, you feel. From E draw an R, taking suitable radius. From F, repeat as step 3. And then join line. From A, by taking 4 cm, draw an arc. As I told you, you have to cut it. Mark this point as D. From B, by taking 4 cm, draw an arc. And then you have to join CD. So we can say ABCD is a rectangle. So the next one, construct a quadrilateral ABCD, where AB is 5 cm, BC is 4 cm, angle C is 135 degree, angle B is 60 degree, and angle A is 90 degree. So this is the rough sketch of it. This is 5 cm AB, BC is 4 cm, this is 90 degree, that is angle A, angle B is 60 degree, and this C is 135 degree. So now let us take AB by 5 cm. So this is actual done. AB is 5 cm. Here. Yeah. Then they say here yeah, that from A construct 90 degree. So how, you know how to construct 90 degree. You will take suitable radius on the compass. Draw an arc. The same distance whatever you have taken. This arc you will cut this and this one and equal parts. Now from here, this you will take the center and you will draw an arc. Again, you will take this center, draw another arc. So this is the point of intersection. Later on, you are going to join this one and that will be 90 degree because it is the bisector perpendicular. Whenever you get this one, this will be 90 degree. So we are done with A part that is angle A is 90 degree that is given. Now let us see for B. Angle B is 60 degree. So now again, what will you do? Taking this as center, you are going to draw an arc. Again, with the same measurement, you are going to divide this into two parts. So whenever you do, I will show you here, whenever we draw arc and we divide it into two parts, means this middle part, this is going to be 90 degree. This first one is going to be 60 degree. 
this will be 90 degree and this is going to be 120 degree so now you don't have to think over you first arc this is going to be 90 degree so now what will you do you will draw this one like now this is already here so you will draw one line over here so now what will you do from here it's given here bc is four centimeter now here bc is four centimeter so now what will you do from here b to c you will mark again on a compass and you will do this you will cut it here so this is four centimeter over here and you are going to mark this as c so now uh, now we have angle c is 135 degree so you are going to construct this is the point where we got cut means this is four centimeter from this point again what will you do you are going to draw first the but this one we will for 135 you are going to cut this one into three parts equal parts whatever the distance you got here for this one the same thing you are going to from th this point from here you are going to cut this one cut here and the third point is going to be here so this first will be of 60 the second is going to be of 120 and the third is going to be of 180 so now first thing what will you do now again what we are going to do 120 and 180 means the middle part of that is going to be 150 so you are going to first bisect directly we cannot do for 135 so you are going to bisect this one so you will again from here you are going to draw a perpendicular this um, this arc over here and for this one because this is for 120 120 and this is for 180 so you will take your compass over here draw an arc you will take the point over here and draw another arc and first thing you are going to divide this line this is for 150 later on what are you going to do because this is for 150 again you will keep your compass over here and this one and in between this because this is 120 and this is now 150 so in between this 120 and 150 that will be 135 so equally in between that so what you are going to do you are going to follow this point and this point and again you are going to bisect from this one you will draw an arc over here from this one you will draw an arc over here so this is the point of intersection so you are going to draw a line over here so this is going to be 135 see again i'll repeat draw an arc you will divide it into three parts so this will be 60 this will be 120 this will be 180 so 120 and 180 means 150 because directly you cannot take 135 so first thing we are going to by taking these two points you are going to bisect this one so that will be 150 here so later on what are you going to do you are going to take this point and this point because we want 135 because 120 and this 150 means the middle one is going to be 135 because there is a difference of 30 so if you bisect it it is going to be 135 so so from here you are going to bisect it. put an arc over here from here you will put a white mark over here and this point so this is 135 so now you know this was the line already extended line so from this point so you already got this one you are going to draw the line so this will be 135 so that is cd so you got here a b c d so that is what they asked construct a quadrilateral a b c d so this is done is it possible to construct a quadrilateral PQRS in which PQ is 4 cm, QR is 5 cm, angle Q is 120, angle P is 105 and angle R is 135? If not, why? So now first thing, what are we going to see whether it's possible, they said. So you know in a quadrilateral, the sum of all interior angles is 360. In triangle, that will be this all interior angles are 180 in quadrilateral means because this is four sides that is going to be 360 so we have given here the angles are given angle q p and r 
so angle p plus angle q because this is a chord this is suppose we consider this as a quadrilateral angle p q r and we can consider this as s because this is a quadrilateral p q r s so angle p plus angle q plus angle r plus angle s this all should be 360 so out of that 105 is given for p q is given q is given as 120 so be, below this we'll write a 120 r is given as 135 and we don't know angle s that is 360 so now when you add this one that comes to 360 and this is angle s is 360 so angle s is going to be 360 if you take this on the other side that is going to be minus 360 so angle s is going to be zero degree so now there should be some angle for this one so that is coming to zero degree that means we can say we cannot construct such type of quadrilateral so we can say therefore it is not possible to construct as angle s is zero degree which is not valid for the quadrilateral you have to write a proper reason for that so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you